Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy and this is a dry snuff, a nasal snuff review. This is an American product. Now through all the dry nasal snuff reviews, the American products are usually placed in between groupings of European products and this is no different. Okay, so there is no certain number on this. Uh, there is a European group on its way here. I'm not quite sure when it will be here, but it is on its way. So for now, we are taking a look at this. This is a very old brand name. Um, it was originally from Helm Tobacco of Helmetta, New Jersey. Uh, Helmetta is still there. The factory is no longer it was demoed in 2010 or 2011 so this is yet another product the swisher international bought um they basically bought the whole catalog of helm and proceeded to run it into the ground hopefully this will be the exception but i am not holding much hope for that anyway taking a look this is a net weight 1.5 ounce can it is entirely plastic sweet snuff is denoted tops dry you see the warning label there the warning label says this product is not a safe alternative to cigarettes take that at face value this is this is most likely not a safe alternative to cigarettes all right so it goes around um there is a surprise on this one the surprise is that this is 80 percent domestic and 20 percent foreign tobacco that is a surprise because this is the first one i've come in contact with from swisher international that is got any um foreign tobacco in it the reason for this is is because they're most likely for all of them except for this one grinding down cigar tobacco for this and all of their machine made cigars are 100 percent american tobacco so that is why i was a little thrown off by that part then you have the barcode and manufacturer's information as i said this is made by swisher international incorporated of west wheeling rather west virginia Sale is only allowed in the United States. Underage sale is prohibited. This side is the same as that side. So in West Virginia, this is known as nose nectar. And the reason for, no, I'm just kidding this. <laughs> but it may be known as that now from, from this video forward. All right, on the top, for whatever reason, quality helm snuff they feel the need to keep the old name going in memory of times when these are quality products another one that they bought from helm or others that they bought they ba basically bought their entire dry snuff line all right was originally helm products also redwood snuff originally a helm product i have a review of it it has been taken off the market for a good reason uh creek or silver creek was a helm product so basically what you have here is a plastic can small can with a plastic lid so i'm going to get a thumbnail or attempt to find the ridge here and it's not going to work because that's how this is going to go. Oh, I got it. But it's not cutting. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Give me a second here. Hold on. And I'm back. Anytime there's a review where there's two pauses hit, not a good sign. So I got my uh, pipe tobacco can cracker here. Uh, some odd piece of 
Americana 1950s, 60s cutlery that I will use to cut this off. Oh, that actually sort of works sort of well. Ooh, I sort of like that. It's got the papery cut sound. Is it actually cutting there? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Game on. Okay, so. Where isn't it? It is, but of course we've lost the whole. We've lost that. All right, so. Oh, yes. It is 100% exactly as I expected. And no, that is most likely not good for me. So, what you have is a very fine milled, very dry, like very dry, uh, very light colored, although this is not the lightest I've seen, dry snuff. And this is one of those things that it is so light, fine, and dry, you gotta be careful, like, breathing on it too hard. And no, I am not kidding, seriously. So, that is showing basically what it actually looks like. It's a very washed out brown, light brown, but even as a light brown, it is washed out. So, again, even smelling to see if there's a smell coming off this, you want to be careful. And it has the usual smell. There is nothing telling you sweet. There is nothing even suggesting besides sweet on the label that there could be anything possibly sweet about this. So, I think I'm going to have to get the snuff spoon. It's got a smell that I cannot describe to you. It's very light. It's not strong by any means. It's it, it's it smells like all the other American dry snuff. So with maybe the exception of checkerberry, because it's winter green, and Bruton, which is by U.S. Smokeless. So to give you an idea what you're looking at here oh and the snuff spoon is slipping out of joint really okay it's really fine stuff it's really dry the only reason it's clumping at all is because it's so fine so i am going to get a couple dollops out here on my hand i think and that's probably way too much. Oh, yeah, that's that's just trouble there. That is all I am doing of this, okay? Now, the upside to the American dry snuffs is they are strong, nicotine-wise. They are strong. Um, they are, I don't know about this one in particular, but as far as nasal snuff goes, they are at the strong side of the spectrum in general okay so let me get the pause button relined up here let me get this covered for when the sneezing begins get the knife away from me because i don't want to get cut while freaking out and spasming and there we go so Whoa. Well. Nicotine hit like immediately. That's it? No, that's not it. Of course that's not. <coughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, I'll be back in a minute. 
And I'm back. All right, so that was pretty much par for the course. Um, okay, so in its defense, it's not any worse than any other American dry stuff. It is not standout either. And there are a couple that are standout. Um, Bruton, as I mentioned before, and Checkerberry are both standout products. Checkerberry is, I believe, Swisher. Um, this is like every other American sweet dry snuff that I've had. It, with the exception of the two I just mentioned. It's exactly the same. There's nothing per se wrong with it, like scent-wise, flavor-wise, if you would. It's, But to explain to you what that scent is, I would have to say it is the American Sweet Dry Snuff scent. <laughs> there, there's no other way. Uh, sweet, you know what? Most of them anymore are billed as sweet. What that exactly means, I do not know until I start doing more that aren't sweet. Like It's one of those deals. There is no, oh, this, the scent is of this or the scent is of that. The scent is of this and every other product like it. And until you do any of them, me trying to explain that will be of no significance. So... In general, speaking of almost all of these products from Swisher, uh, Bruton's, which is this right here, is noteworthy and stand out for the fact that it has flavor if you dip it. Checkerberry is of note and stands out because it is wintergreen and it is a coarse cut. It is not a real, real fine cut. Besides the two, those two, they're all like this, okay? Uh, whether it's railroad mills or um, tops, four square, you know, etc. and so on. Tell you the truth, even the time I did peach, I peach was written on the can. That's about as far as peach went, as far as I'm concerned. So. This is one of those things that I think everybody should try, but there's no particular one that you should try. You should try Bruton and Checkerberry. After that, it's sort of roll the dice, but you should try it. This is something unlike some forms of chewing tobacco. I am not fearful of it going away, okay? There are certain twists and whatnot. I have said it repeatedly. At least try it once. We need to keep sales going or twists will disappear or plugs will disappear. This, I am not overly concerned, especially with a company like Swisher, about it disappearing. Why? Because this is how they're getting rid of all their leftover tobacco from other products. The cigar tobacco that dries out too much, that they can't use, that sat too long, this, that, or the next. Yeah. This is how they're getting rid of that. This is how they're using that up. This is how they're still turning a profit, even though in its original form, whether it be a cigar, this, or that, they can't, they can't sell it like that anymore. So they make it into this. And yeah. Too dry for a cigar, no good. Probably needs to be dried out some more for this. So I'm not worried about this disappearing. Um, that said, that all said, I think everybody should try it. I, I think somebody, I, I, I think you should have experience with all aspects of smokeless tobacco at least. And this is one of those things that, you know, this is a very old form of tobacco, even in the United States. This stuff, not this stuff particular, but 
This form is how the term dipping came about, okay? This stuff. So speaking of that, and since we're at the 15 minute mark anyway, and I'm having such a fucking good time, let's do a pinch. Now, how do I want to do this? I don't think I want to put the hole. I'm just going to, I'm going to pinch it. There is a bit of sweetness in the flavor. Nondescript sweetness, like you can't put a, you can't, you can't say what it is. It's not bitter in any way. I did a small finger pinch because when I put, uh, when I used my dabber thing and put a, a, a big piece in, the outside of it just sort of marbleizes. No saliva gets through the product, and there's no flavor at all. Except with that Bruton, which there was a lot of flavor with that, surprisingly. The other thing about this is, yeah, it's $7 for this. This is basically for 99 out of 100 people, a lifetime supply. And... You don't have to worry about it drying out. <laughs> it's not getting any drier than it already is. Trust me. There is a little sweetness in the flavor. And since I didn't put a big clump in, uh, there is some flavor happening. So, I mean, I'm not, after doing it nasally, I'm not going to notice any nicotine at this point because it was overdrive via the nose hey I, I, again you know it, it's one of those things you know it's seven dollars for an experience not all experiences are good ones but they add up and having as many experiences as you can in my mind is always a good thing so this has been the review of tops dry sweet snuff from Swisher International. 1.5 net weight can. I am the Soon Tide Dip and Chew Guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.